I would like to show you how to set up uh, action alerts and action groups in Azure Cloud to monitor what is happening with our resources. For this demo program, I create simple resource group with some simple resources. It's a basic uh, API with application insights hosted on the free tier of App Service Plan. Okay, so let's go to the creation of our alert. We scroll through the all tabs to monitoring section, click alerts, new alert rule, make confirm that have select the correct resource. Now go to the select condition. In our demo I would like to trigger some action when server error is occur. Okay, so we find the HTTP server errors. In other words, it's an HTTP 500. Okay, so we got set the greater operator greater than aggregation total type total. We can select other types of aggregation, for example, average, maximum, minimum, and so on. For this demo, I will search of set threshold value for five count. So the condition preview, whenever the total HTTP server is greater than 5, aggregation granularity, I will choose 1 minute for demo, and execution of our condition every 1 minute. Ok, so I click done. As you can see, the cost of our condition is 10 cents. Ok, so I create now our action group. I create the action group which will be named demo action group. Select the type of notification. We can choose notify up using the airbag rules or just through the email, SMS or push notification. I will go through the email. Type the email. Okay. Now select the name of the role. Email notification. As you can see, we can create other types of notification. For example, push notification. Or, for example, we can call the voice or even SMS. Ok. Next, click action. We can execute some action. For example, I think the most interesting is webhook. For example, we can trigger the action webhook from Microsoft Teams and notify our team that something terrible occurs with our application. Don't add any tags. We create. Okay, so we create our action group. Okay, we need to type the alert or name HTTP server error rule. We type the severity. I think it will maybe one. Make sure that we have enable our tool after creation and create our role. Okay, so our role is creating. Okay, so our rules should be created. So go check our rules. And we have the rule created. Okay, so, so check if we, our rule is working. I've set up the con 
collection runner, post on collection runner, iterate. I set up the 200 iteration with delay 1 millisecond, 100 milliseconds. I will select the correct endpoints. The first one is the correct, which return HTTP 200, and second one is invalid, which should return HTTP 500. Okay, so execute our action. Okay, and we can see that some errors incoming, and soon we should have we should be notified about error. We have the notification that we are add to the action group. Okay, and finally it's triggered. Trigger our action. This, this monitoring condition is fired. that is activated go deeper and see what happen okay it's some delay because we can have 39 color Matrix. But it's working as we as should. So as you can see uh, in a few easy steps we can configure alerts for our application to be notified about various the issues with our app or status. This, in the next lessons I will go deeper into Azure and uh, set up some new interesting things. So stay tuned and wait for the next episodes. Bye!